Hey guys, 95 Pop Snaps here, and today I am bringing you part two of that massive pop culture haul. I'm very excited to share these ones with you guys, so let's do this. Alrighty guys, so yes, I left a bit of a gap between part one and part two. Just because I want to bring you guys something different all the time, change it up a little bit. But yeah, I do want to show off part two of that massive pop culture haul. I've kept the bags as they were. I haven't touched them. So for me, it's kind of reminiscing because it was a little while ago that I went for when they opened the new store. Uh, but really keen. There's a fair few pops in here that I want to dive into. And I do have a second Woody Woodpecker soda to open up. Hoping for the common. If we get a chase, I don't know. I should go buy a lottery ticket. But yeah, so we'll open that guy up a bit later too. I'll leave him back here. And yeah, let's dive into some of the pops I got. So the first one I got, I was really excited about because I slept on it when it dropped. And of course it sold out within the day. And um, it's going to go alongside perfectly the other one I picked up a little while ago. It is Dexter from Dexter's Laboratory, of course. So yeah, with this one, this uh, him and Johnny Bravo sold out pretty quickly. I feel like Dexter sold out first? Correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, I was really lucky to pick up Johnny Bravo at Supernova. One of the conventions earlier and Dexter wasn't available there so yeah I really had to rely on getting it online and for some reason I just didn't buy it and then of course I regretted it but was very glad to see him on the shelf there he's got a bit of a scuff mark on the front that's fine he looks pretty good otherwise I'm just glad to have him after you know being silly and um, passing up on it but now I'm really glad to have it like Dexter watching this on Cartoon Network it's very nostalgic for me I did watch it quite a bit I really like the character It'd be really cool to see more Dexter's Pops uh, come to life. I feel like they transition really well into Pops. So I was really glad to, glad to see that one there and to be able to pick it up. They've uh, nailed the details so well. He looks spot on to the cartoon. Love what they did with the big glasses. His hair is perfect. And he's got his little lab coat. With iconic purple gloves. I don't know. It just all works. And I'm really, really impressed by this Pop. And really glad to have been able to pick it up on the day. So it was just there sitting on the shelf. Had a couple of them. I was really, really lucky to grab one though. Uh... Would have been nice to get one without that scuff, but it's not too bad. I mean, you probably can't even tell uh, sitting right there behind the screen watching. But yeah, no, really happy again to pay retail for it. I cannot complain. The next thing I grabbed, what am I seeing here? Ah, yes, one of the recent Funko Shop exclusives uh, that we saw drop on Pop Culture, but with the Pop Culture sticker. And that is the Jack in the Box Homer. So this one, I, I was going to buy the common, but then as soon as I kind of heard the whispers that it was going to be a glow-in-the-dark one, I was like, well, I'm, I'm going to wait, and I'm going to get it glow-in-the-dark. Uh, just because, why not? Why not? Uh, so I was really happy to pick this one up. Um, I'm really annoyed that the sticker overlaps on that, but that was fine. Again, there weren't too many on the shelf. I just kind of panic bought and grabbed it, and nonetheless, happy to have it. I don't know if I'll attempt to move the stickers over. But that's fine. We got Homer Jack in the Box, and he's really, really cool. Uh, very keen to uh, one day really test out the glow on this. If I can find some pictures for you, so I'll pop it up. But it, uh, I feel like I've seen one, and it glows really, really well. So it's a really cool piece. Really good one to probably have out of box. I'm not too sure if that is something I will do with it. I really like that it's basically like the stand is the box, of course. I don't know. It's just a very unique looking pot. There's not many like it. I think it's fun, and look, from the episode it's from, it's funny, it's iconic from uh, the Treehouse of Horror series, so really cool pop, and I'm very happy to have been able to pick it up on the day. The next one I grabbed, I was uh, probably a bit too short and a bit too slow <laughs> to get the chase, so there was a chase of this one sitting right there on the top shelf. I guess I was a bit torn trying to go for the chase of this or Medusa. I'm glad I went Medusa because now I've been able to help my uncle add that to his collection. I did miss out on the chase of this though, but I'm kind of happy to just have the common at least. And it is the skeleton from the Corpse Bride. I really have this thing about skeletons. I think it's mostly because it was just an ongoing joke with my little brother when he was younger that he used to call them a really weird name. Um, so it's just something that's kind of always sat with me is that skeletons are cool. We like them. And I just thought this pop was really, really funny. I've noticed a lot of them have come damaged, so like the bones on the inside are actually broken, which I think is quite comical since how fragile they would be. But yeah, I thought it was a really cool one. I didn't want to pass up on the opportunity to pick it up for retail, so there he is there. It's a really neat looking pop. 
I feel like uh, Funko has done really well to turn a skeleton into a pot. I feel like they did a really good job with it. I like his little hat, it's just a pose in general. I'm going to be really nervous to take this one out of box because I feel like I might break it. But hey, he's here. I really like it. I'll try and do some 360s of this one for you guys. But yeah, pretty nervous because I'm known for dropping stuff. So we'll see how that goes. The next item I got was a chase and I was very, very excited to pick this up. Because it's just a character, I guess everyone who loves this line loves. And it is the Dobby Pop Pin Chase. So, like I said in the last video, they had a whole bunch of chases there, the Pop Pins. You were allowed to grab one of each chase. So normally with their Pops, you can only get one. But they said with the Pins, go for your life. So I pretty much grabbed like all the ones that screamed out to me. And of course, Dobby had to be one of those because... You just love Dobby. How can you not love Dobby? I really love the way his eyes just like bulge out. I think it's really, really funny. Um, again, not too sure what I'm going to do with these pop pins, but I couldn't not get it. You know what I mean? Like you were there, the excitement, uh, and it's just Dobby. It's an iconic character. He looks great. And I thought, yeah, it's a lot of fun. Why not pick it up while I have the chance? I guess that, that I mean the old mantra of never leave a chase behind. But also it is a line we like. Jen really likes Harry Potter and... Yeah, I just thought it was really, really cool. We like Dobby a lot. Like, when are you going to have that, that chance again to pick this up for retail? So, thought I'd grab it. Like I said, not sure what we'll do with it in terms of, like, displaying it's really hard. Don't particularly want to take it out of the box because the box is actually quite nice. But, yeah, that is Dobby. Pretty happy to have picked that up. Also, find it interesting. They come in, like, the plastic and then you've got a little hanger, which is cool. I don't think it's something they could ever do with Pops, though. I think the Pops are a bit too heavy, but... Really nice, really happy to have that one, for sure. Now the next pop I picked up, I was really, really surprised to see. So I could actually see it out the window um, whilst I was lining up, and I'm like, all right, got to go for the exclusives, then i got to get this. And I was really happy because no one else went for it. I was really, really surprised. But it is the Supersonic. I thought, how are people not going for this? Especially after the hype of Super Silver, and Super Tails 2-pack. Being able to pick up a Supersonic for retail was pretty hard. Like, you don't see that anymore. So, I was quite excited to pick him up. Uh, he's got the gold ring. He's looking pretty cool. Uh, it just goes really nicely along those. I don't think I've ever shown off Super Tails and Super Silver on the channel. But I do have that in my collection, which is really cool. It's going to go really, really nicely alongside that 2-pack. Uh, so, I was really excited to see that there for, you know, $20. Um, like I said, it's not something you see every day. And it was on the back of my mind. I was like, I've got to go for the exclusives, got to look at the sodas, then we go supersonic. And I was really glad that it was still there because, yeah, picking that up for retail is really, really nice. It is a 2017 pop. So, yeah, it's on the older side of things, but that's cool. I love the set on the back. I really need to get a shadow pop. I don't even think I've got one. <laughs> so that's, that's something I really need to do. But, yeah, we've got a supersonic. Shadow was always my favourite. I don't know why. Maybe it's just the angst. I don't know, but he was always my favourite. So, got to get on to that, I think, next, uh, in terms of Sonic Pops. So, we'll see how we go with that. And then, what have I got left? So, I've got two things left in here. One of them I was really, really excited about. It's just a pop that I've always had my eye on. And I've actually seen it a couple times with the US sticker at Zing. And then, other times I don't. And every time I have, it's always been damaged. But... Thankfully, pop culture came through on the day. They were all minty fresh, and I was able to get the flocked box lunch exclusive Grumpy Bear from Care Bears. Now, I'm a little bit of a softie. I do love my Care Bears. As you can see, we have the Care Bear on the top of the tree, holding a little star. But now we've got my favourite Care Bear, the Grumpy Bear, in flocked form. I didn't want to get the common, because why would you when you can get a flocked box lunch exclusive one? So yeah, really happy I paid retail for it, which is awesome. I know they sell for a little bit extra just because they do have the box lunch sticker. A lot of them in Australia came with that. Others just had the flock sticker. But I always wanted to hunt one down because I knew I could get it here for retail with the sticker. And I was really patient, which I'm proud of because it's a nice minty fresh one. 2018 pop as well. So it really looks like pop culture held on to a couple of things to drop for this opening. So I don't know, like, did they know three years ago that they were going to open a new store? Because, like, why would they have Supersonic? Unless they just had it stacked away for a rainy day, per se. That's a lot of rhyming. But, no, nah, I mean, it's worked out for me because I've been able to pick up some really cool stuff. Last pop. This one is really, really exciting. I initially didn't want to buy it. But when I saw it, I'm like, I don't have a pop of this character. And this one is adorable. 
and it is the pop culture exclusive slash Funko Shop exclusive Dumbo from the Disneyland 65th anniversary line. It is so, so adorable. Just, just have a look at that face. It is, I love the box as well. Like the coffee kind of stained looking thing. It is really, really cute. I love it. I love the pose. It's just so innocent and so cute. The big ears. I like the little purple tint or purple pinky tint. It is just a really nice pop and I do love it. I'm really glad I picked it up. I was on the fence, but very glad that I convinced myself to. And I was also lucky enough to pick up a second one of these to send over to IMJ Rod. His partner, Steph, really, really wanted one. So I'm glad I was able to get one for him on that same weekend. I went back and picked up a second one for him, as well as picking up some extras, you know, for, uh, you would have seen Collector Lampsy's video. Hopefully you have, surely you have. He makes good content. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, hit the description. I sent him some pops that I picked up amongst all this stuff. Uh, so check that one out. Little plug for you there, Lampsy. <laughs> Love you, brother. But anyway, yeah, so I was happy to pick this one up and of course help out some friends as well who wanted this one. So yeah, it was really, really awesome. I'm really excited to get back to the store and just see what's changed now. Now that kind of they've been open for a little while. I'm uh, really keen to see what they've still got left. Uh, hoping to find some time to go there. Maybe, maybe this week. We'll see how I go. I live a busy life. But anyway, that is that. That is today's part two. I still have one more bag to go through. I forgot that I got half of this stuff because it has been a little while. But it's very exciting to be able to relive through them all again. And honestly, when I've looked at them all again, I felt joy. So I made good decisions, I think. <laughs> Alright, so we're on to the soda now. So I picked up two of these that weekend. And my cousin also just picked me up recently when he was there. I think it was a couple days ago he messaged me. He goes, hey, anything about pop culture? And I said, look, if they've got a Woody Woodpecker, I'd love one because I do want to get the common. And also, if I can have a spare sealed one, I'd love to send it off to a good friend, JT's Funko Vines. I know she's been really keen on one of these. Um, and they just haven't dropped on the website. I don't know if they're going to or if they will. But I thought, you know what? Pick one up for me. This is the one he picked. So I'm hoping it's a common. Just so I've got both. And look, if it's the chase... That's very exciting, but it also means I can't help out a mate. So, fingers crossed for the common. I'm getting this all stuck on me. Uh, well, let's see how we go. I do want to check out the uh, common too, because I haven't looked at it. Because my cousin got the chase, I got the chase. So, having looked at the pog, uh, you'll know from the facial expression whether it is the common or not. I believe this is the common. Very, very good. Yes, it is. There he is. We have the common Woody Woodpecker Soda. He is very, very cute. I'm stoked. So I've got one of each now. Don't have to crack into any more. And can sand off a sealed one to JT's Funko Finds, which is very exciting. Uh, let's have a look at our little poggy friend. So we have Woody Woodpecker there. And he is a one of 2,500. So that is awesome. I am happy. I don't know why I threw the bubble wrap away, because that's what he needs to go in while we temporarily not have the cool corner. But yeah, this has been a really fun haul. Like I said, I'm really glad about the decisions I made in terms of pops I bought, because like I said, these all were very exciting to look at again, and it means I made the good decisions. <laughs> so awesome ones, happy to have them, and very excited to be able to share these ones with you. And looking forward to part three. I might delay that one a little bit again, just so I'm mixing up the content. I don't want you guys to be flooded with the same stuff. I mean, you might like the same, the same stuff, uh, but I, I like to freshen it up and open up new stuff too. So that's the haul for today. Hopefully you see part three in the next fortnight or maybe more. I don't know. I've also still got to get that live stream going of those sodas. I believe I have every single soda that I ordered in my possession now. The last one came a couple of days ago took a long time but I have it all here so it's just about now planning the live stream I don't know when I'm gonna do it because now it is December it's the busiest time of the year but I really want to do it it's gonna be a lot of fun so be sure to hit the subscribe button stick around uh, maybe even get a head over to Instagram I'll probably be posting an update over there of when I'm gonna go live over here so yeah guys thank you for checking out this video I hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed seeing some of the pops I've added to my collection and if you did leave me a comment let me know which one of these would you have rushed for first if you were at the pop culture shop on that grand opening anyway guys thanks again for checking out this video and remember as always like dragon says never give up 
and good vibes will find you. See ya.